sorry, I, I, it's like when people say that, it's like every time I lose, it's like, really? Do you have to be like that? It's so like I try to be courteous and polite to them, but then they just come out with complete BM like that. No, you're just going to get it back. Named Please. and shamed, Harry. Named and shamed. <laughs> Uh, the wall of shame. Mm-hmm. You don't want it's to like, be on Jay's it's, wall of shame. It's, they come out with it, but they don't give a reason as to what's going, what's wrong. It's just they come out and start being, and it's like, really? Well, actually, Why? put some incentive behind it. Tell me what's wrong so that we can change things. And uh, so it doesn't look like you can, nonetheless. Yeah, well, whilst we wait for this remake, I, d I just wanted to ask you a little bit more about the GSL event because that's something that I'm very interested in and I would actually love to take part in such a magnificent event. <laughs> Too late. You're casting now. You don't get to play. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I will do my duties, but I would, that would, I, I could win that. Not with the counter. I, pff, maybe. But we're going to have some really high caliber players. I mean, the LBN team's going to be in there. I should be in it. I'm a part of the team. <laughs> it's okay. We'll talk about it later, my friends. For now, we need to talk about some StarCraft action. Oh, yeah? What is that then? We haven't got any in a minute. Well, we do have a release date for Heart of the Swarm, March 13th. <coughs> <coughs> no, it's actually March 12th. Oh, and it's <laughs> going to be delayed. I'm telling you all now, it will be delayed. I will put... No, I was going to say I put my bank account on it, but no, I won't say that. I will say... <laughs> I, I gentlemen's bet with you all that it will actually be delayed even further than March 13th. Don't tell, us, don't tell our fans that, man. They're not going to be happy to hear it. Oh, DD5 has to smash They're probably wondering what the hell is going yeah. on. We need to remake that game, please, or get us into another game either way. Yeah, I'm just waiting on Taku here to, uh... Sorry about that, I forgot to uh, invite Scrubber Nub. We need the uh, streamer, that would always help, you know. Yep, yep, newbie, <laughs> newbie streamer. Just kidding, just kidding. Uh, Matt, give us a message in the uh, admin chat. I like chocolate milk. Congratulations, I Matt. Fight. I actually like it as well, so yeah. Okay, it's going to be Nerd vs. DV5 Esther, and is the number scrubbing? Yes, he is. Oh, LB into orbit. Get out! Get out of that lobby! Get that out! Orbit, not for you. Look, 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 he's not for you. And, yeah, this will be interesting to see if this actually works now. I'm not host. I need to be made host. Right, can we go? I'm good to go. Or some shorts. Right then. Let's hit that start button. Let's get it underway. So, PvP on PvP. a T shipyard. It's going to be a blink timing coming out. Oh, I Now, we hardly ever see DD5 has to go into a macro game. It's always full game. And he, let's, let's face it, 5 minutes 86 seconds. It's pretty insane. Um, 5.45 yeah. yeah Anyway, spawning in the top left hand position He is DV5 Vesta The 4 gate king <laughs> And spawning in the bottom right hand corner We have Neo, the other 4 gate king I guess mm -hmm. They're both quite good at 4 gates I'd imagine I don't know, I don't, I've, I've seen Neo go into Heavy Colossus play, I remember him In his PvP uh, against I think it was uh, Pike uh, Mass Colossus play. I mean, it was absolutely insane. I mean, I, I, Neo, I think Neo actually won that time. I, I can't remember, but I remember it being against Pike, and it was heavy Colossus play. I mean, they both had like six or eight Colossus each. They're absolutely nuts. Oh, wow. What a funny placement for a pylon coming out of the <laughs> Fire Festa. Yeah, it's quite Where a... Where is he going to lay down his tech? Can a gateway fit there? Yeah, I think it can just fit by the gas and the... Yeah, definitely. Intriguing. Ah, he's got plenty of room, look. Let's have a look at the old V. There we go, it goes... So yeah, he's got plenty of room. So... DV... Wow. Neo falling, it's going to be a 12 gate. So DV5 Festa went... That's, that's alright, actually, Neo's fine. Um, DV5 Festa went for the early gateway. Did you say a 12? Oh yeah, 12 gate, okay, cool. I'd like to go 13, but 
Yeah. I, I, I go 12. When I do a four gate, with, when I used to play Protoss, it goes 12 gate, 13 gas. 14. Four, yeah. right? Oh, uh, it would be fourteen to be a bit later, but yeah, I get, I got the drill. I think I, I my four gate lands at like five forty five, so. I do not don't like to do it. I hope they don't four gate. I hope, I hope three gate Robo versus three gate Robo expand. Uh, cybernetics down at fifteen. Uh, no, DB five is going four gate. And I don't blame him. I actually don't blame him on this because, he, his opponent's actually behind. You can tell the DB five is he's got everything going out at one supply. Normal uh, one supply faster than what it should be, so the EV5 festival will be going for a four gate. It looks well, a few sentries might be able to hold the four gate, so we'll see if uh, I we'll... don't know, man, because he's not even he's got old double gas, so it looks like DV uh, Neo rather could be going for frigate robo into expansion build. And look at this, look at this. Neo sees that the chrono boost goes down early on the uh. On the water, water, yeah. yeah, and it'll be a stalker first, yeah, but this is going to be a uh, standard. Play, okay, okay, DB, yeah, yeah DB5 Festa, and it does look like the same is coming down for um, Neo. However, Neo should throw down his Forge. There we go, Forge. That is great. Now, everybody's like, oh my god, why is he throwing down a Forge? Simple. Full gate fails to cannons. Two, two to three cannons plus sentries. This is held. The only problem is it does delay any other tech you do, and it's, it's a brave move to be done by Neo, I do believe. Well, well let's see if he can pull it off, then. Or it could be the fact that um, Neo is going to go in for a plus one timing. Never know. Never know. Let's see, let's see if plus one goes down. Uh, don't think so. No, it's not. So it's going to be a cannon. Uh, unless he's. Uh, I'm trying to see what's coming out. We got. A st oh no, Zealot! You need to go stalkers. Because look, here's this the four gate. Gonna hit. This four gate is going to hit. But the only problem is, if we can hold it... Oh, wow, look at this. Back of the base of Neo. Yeah, Where's oh, the Zealot? Where's the Zealot? He needs it out. He needs to get the Zealot. Oh, he's going to get this. The Zealot's it. sitting up, not doing anything. Oh, oh. no. And <laughs> this is not looking good. He's not mining. Here comes the Stalker. And is it even going to be a full gate? Please, don't let him get it. No! No! <laughs> Juju. Um, rage quick coming out from Neo as well. Mate, that's a pretty good success for Forge ending two minutes after it hits. 545, 447, but, GG. Yeah. That is a, gee, that's a pretty good for Forge. It's like a master Forge. <laughs> I don't know how much earlier you can do it than that, man. So. I don't know. I don't know if Taku was prepared to have another game ready so fast. We shall see if he has a game for us. So I, w I would ask you what you thought about that game, but uh... Uh, uh, one second, one second. Uh... Yeah, he doesn't have a game yet. All right, Taku, come on, man. What's the matter? Well, then again, he did it. <laughs> God, it ended so fast. Well, he said he needs one minute, so. Anyways, yes, yeah, always a pleasure to be here doing this, and uh, glad to see you're feeling better, Jay. I know you were ill. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm okay. You're alive again. So, are you gonna play the new Black Ops Two? I downloaded last night. I haven't had a chance to. I was played Planet Side, and oh my god, if there was more people playing Planet Side, that game would be. Phenomenal, but it's so heavy on resources to play, and even my computer struggles. I'm thinking, God, but it's such a good game. We finally sorted out all the laggage. We have to do so much. Yeah. Well, I haven't had the pleasure of playing it yet, but maybe I will. So we are just waiting on talk to get this game then. And when when exactly did you plan on having the GSL type event starting? Uh, I'm going to have all registrations for it to start on the 29th of this month. Really? And it will begin early next year, January. It will be January before it goes off. Fair enough, man. The simple fact is we got, because we've just got so much on at the minute, we've had to actually cancel quite a lot. Yeah, uh, absolutely, absolutely. So I was going to say, what's on in the cards for LBN this Christmas? Yes, Harry, I unbanned you. Now, 
go ahead and uh, give me a legitimate reason why the tournament sucks without just coming out with complete crap, basically. Just, yeah, uh, yeah. Haters will hate, and that's all. Exactly not say. because this. Um, what do you mean? What's he done? Fake account. One second. As oh, I got Firewatch turn off in the background. Do profile. Silver one v one. What the hell? Thirteen thousand one. I am reading that right. Total career games. Thirteen. Look 000, at the one v ones. Right. Lost, uh, lost, lost, Naga, lost. you are now banned. You are a smurf. There is no way on planet Earth that you have that many games and are in uh, silver. Period. That and your diamond. What you've been diamond. You've been in diamond four times. Goodbye, Zell Naga. Uh, okay. Uh, but Harry, next time, bring it to an admin. Okay. You don't just come into a game. You just don't come into a chat and start BMing. You, that's a way to get yourself banned, as you just saw. Right, Zell Naga. You are now four for Dan. If you wouldn't mind just um altering the uh reset the match. Uh, Harry, SC, uh, IA, you now go free. Zelnaga uh, will be um, disqualified. Uh, Dan, if you could you do that. You got it. Then. You got it. I'm doing that immediately. Thank you. Yeah, if you ever have a problem with something and you think someone's like, on a fake account, don't like BM or say something in the chat. Come to one of us, the admins, or any of the LBNT players, and they will get in contact with us, and then all of us will look into it, and then all of us will make a decision or one of us will just go and it will get sorted out it's that simple really so that's dealt with right we're just waiting for our next game I am ed editing that now as okay. well I mean 13k games I'm sorry but even some of the top uh, that's, that, that's a lot of games, dude. I've been playing since season, uh, well, Brood War, and I've only got like two and a half K games. So, yeah. yes. Okay. And also, those people who uh, see like the likes of Pake and all that, we have no right to tell them to ladder, right? Now, you sim Pake. He went and landed. He got himself into platinum. Now, uh, I've been uh, just uh, addressed here by Esmond. Um, Esmond, basically, I have no right to tell someone to go and ladder. Uh, the fact is that we know DV5 Fester is no Smurf. We've seen him yeah, lose bad. Not. We've seen him lose completely and utterly badly before. Okay, and that that game is now reset, by the way. So, Matt, okay. you can go ahead and take your victory on that and report uh, a forfeit. Harry, Harry, SCII, uh, I, I, please go uh, report a win, please. Uh, as okay. Exile Naga is now banned. Uh, also, could you, uh, Dan, make sure that he is banned from entering this tournament again? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Thank you. And we'll just, let me just, uh, do we have our next game then? Yeah, um, who was his first opponent first? Could you say that one more time, mate? Uh, who, who, who's, uh, basically... Um, Parker just seems to be a little bit confused at the moment as to which game he should make. Um... One second. Yeah, uh, every... he's just trying to find his, his next game, so we'll wait for that. I do believe, so is it Matt who goes through? Matt, isn't it? Yeah, I've, I've just updated the bracket now, so... Okay, Dan, if you do that, me and Matt will take this game while you get that underway, please. I've already uh, done it. It's, it's done, mate. He is already through the bracket now. Matt is the winner. Right, so Matt's versus DV5 Fester, then. Yeah, okay, that is the That's game. That's the game. Cool. That's the game we're in right now. Okay, awesome source. Uh, Taku? Good job, buddy. Thanks, Taku. Oh. We got it. Me and you can take this game away. Okay. I just need to get mad. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, uh, everything should be going underway very soon.
Okay, Jay, you're now lobby host, and you can invite okay. Ma uh, Matt in. La -di, la -di -da. Sorry about the downtime, guys. Just sorting out the uh, wannabe idiots being smurfing, but we are also. Right, okay, Matt is in the lobby. Updated. We are ready to go. Boom bang zoom to the room. Let's Bracket has been updated as well. All right, and I think we're good to take this one away. Are both of our players ready? Yeah, we have started the game. Mm-hmm. I want to see how Max uh, opens up his uh, I might try something different. Uh, Dan, we are getting a lot of background noise from you, mate. As I completely talk over Matt's uh, Gold Rush uh, intro, he's probably going to yell at me. But it's fine! It's only Matt! Don't worry! I'm going to talk over the next one now, just to annoy him. <laughs> Good night, so Squeak versus... for you. <laughs> DB5 Festival versus Matt, a PVZ on MLG Metropolis. Hang on a minute, MLG's the semis. Really? Yeah, we're, we're in the semis already. What's the time of the day? Oh, Any... God, I'm such a boss. I've admin in two tournaments, and I'm casting this one. Go team me. So, yeah, go morning in the... the north position. Here's Hot Matt. <laughs> No, it's not top left though. It's, north it's, is north, the, is it? north, see? The 12 o'clock position. Mats, Artil, Zergy Zerg. And in the south position, as you we put it, we have DV Fester, the red Protoss. The Fork Eight King! Yeah, is he going to forget it again? That's the question. I don't think he'd Fork Eight. Uh, um... No, I'd like to see a two gate, proxy two gate into four gate into DT. So that's something I would do. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of gas, though, dude. Yeah, that's off why you own the... Yeah, off of one base, you, you open up 10, 12 with the gateways. You just pump out zealots, zealots, zealots. You get the core, you get the Twilight Council, then go straight to DTs, and, and yeah, it works really well. Right, Um, seeing as we've uh, had the last game of uh, DB5S, I just want to concentrate, excuse me, on uh, Matt. So I want to see how he opens. Is he going to go 14 pull or 15 pull into 16, 17 hatch? Will he go straight into lanes? Yeah, we'll have to see if he gets the, the gas for the speed lanes or goes into the rotors. It, what I want to see uh, db 5 Festa here do is like a six gate, seven gate push, like double gas straight into seven gates push. Sounds That'd very be effective. That... Oh yeah, against Zerg. So it's a 14 pull. Uh, db 5 Festa going to try and attempt to deny the uh, base? No. Uh, you can have a look around. He's going to scout, see that there's no gas taken. He is going to see the pull. He did click on it even. So. Is he going to go forge fast expand? That's the question. No, don't harass the probe. Go take your. Oh, he's going to do it. So, right. The UB5 Fest is going to just run around, have a little scout, see that there's no gas. We are going to. Cause a luck. No, you need to go. Oh, will it? He's going to try and deny the probe. And the probe's going to actually get into the deny. Uh, let's deny that expansion. Yeah, that's quite good. Go on. Oh, no. <laughs> denied. It was out of position as well, though. And another one. He's just trying to lay down it. I don't think this is a smart idea. Is he actually going to force him? He's not macroing behind this. He's probably going to over... Go now! Go now! And the forge is in production as well for the Protoss, for a DV Fester. And the expansion should be going down right away. Yeah, expansion goes down. That is such a good timing as well by DV5 Fester. 19 Nexus. While yeah. doing all that harassment. I think that's really good. Now, we do see four lings out in the way. Uh, by the time he gets down there, the cannon will be finished. That's so uh, safe. That's, yeah. yeah, they're so safe play. Good play as well. Uh, maybe immortal play out of DB5 Festa because Matt's, by the way he's setting up, uh, from the way I play, this is going to be a roach uh, play. Could be. Could be. Tail take the gas. There's two and three and go into roach lair with the speed. Hmm. 
Uh, the thing is, now he's seen this, what Matt should do, take it an early third. Oh, he does. Never mind. There's the early third, but the pro will probably, he'll probably try to cannon rush. I don't think that's a smart he idea. It. He scouted it. The early third. Yeah, but he's also, but the problem is, if you look at this, has, he doesn't see the pro, and here comes the cannon rush. Oh, this is, this will be perfect. The thing Although, is, DV5 Fester has to commit to this, because if he doesn't, it just means Matt's goes straight into Lings, and that's it. Oh, don't, no, don't reveal the probe. Don't reveal the probe. No, still nothing there yet. Uh, the Overlord's going in the wrong direction. It's stopped. Where's the Lings? Oh, he might have seen it just now. No, he just still no, there's still no vision on the, uh, from Matt. So I'm looking. No, he's uh, not seeing the probe at all. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh no, this is, is... Is he gonna come through? And now we sit it! And you know what? Where's the Lings? They're down here! Uh... Yeah, let's, he, let's see what he does. Oh, no. He needs just to cancel! He's not gonna cancel! He's going straight into a queen! And you know oh, what? This is gonna be effective because there's no way to get to the pylon. he will actually have to take out the, uh... Cannons, and right now there's no way to do that. He just does not have the force to do it. He's going to have to sacrifice this. Personally, I'd like to see him cancel this queen and just move off because these will be drones or uh, links. I don't know. It's going to be 12 links. He's actually going to try and combat this. It's not going to work because the problem is he should just go and push. He can actually get in there and pass the uh, cannon just straight to the main. Sack this base. Oh, the queen's going to get out. What, what are you doing? Why would you waste the queen? Move it back! And the queen is going to fall. Yes, it does. It does go splat. Now, we do see drones. He could probably get lots of lag. And here we go. It's going to try and do some damage. But you know what? We've got two lava that he can use. I'd like to see these go straight into drones. All these links should just be coming out to run by. They should have come around for a run by when they had the chance. The point I said there, link, well, yeah, they run by. There's no way he would have had any units out because... He committed to the cannon rush. Oh, look at these four gateways yeah. as well after denying five, that third. Five gateways. Anything five. going on the back? Yeah, five. This is going to be a six. This might even be a seven, eight gate push. This is pretty all. Not really all in considering he killed off that third, so. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, man. I, after seeing this, the, the links are coming out. They're slow links as well. They may as well be dead links already. Uh, <laughs> dead money, yeah. Yeah, dead money. The speed's already started, but it's not halfway down at all. There should be a roach warren going down. Now it's going to be a bailing bust. Uh, mm, I'm not sure. If he get, if he warps in sentries now, if DV5 Festa warps in sentries, there's no way this this uh, <coughs> excuse me that this bailing bust will work. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Matt, for your uh, observational skills there. Uh, I'm not sure I like this. It's going to scout this so heavy. Oh my god, he can just get in. The forge is going to go there. Where is the uh, warp tech? There. He needs to get another sentry in. And it's too late. This is way too late. Where's the forge? Oh, what a force field. Great force force. He's not going to have enough to actually do any damage here. The cannon's going to come in. Where's the force field? No, he needs to get in position. Hold position. Great. Where's the warp in? These have to be sentries. No, they're going to be zealots. He needs to move the probes. Oh my word, this is amazing. DV5 Festa might actually hold this, but you know what? The economical damage has been done because his opponent is still on two bases. Let's have a look. See, more links streaming across the map now. And the Zealots are just running rampant. They're not going to do any difference. Oh no, there's another warping. Where's the sentries? He's not making sentries. And I feel that this could be game ending for DV5 Festa. Take the cybernetics and... That bailing must be the bane of all existence, not getting the kill, and it's going to be mass links. If you can take out that cannon, there's nothing here. But the Zealots on hold position, hold position, hold position, and DB5 Fester might have hold this. I don't like the fact that he's moving out with these Zealots at all. I feel that that's a, he could easily get surrounded with all these links, because speed is done. Now, there we go. There's another warp in. Some of these have to be sentries. There we go. Right. He will go straight into defensive mode now, because he knows that his attack didn't work. There we go, there's the spines popping up, only lings being produced. Uh, we are going to see more lings in production, yep, straight into defensive mode. Uh, whereas DB5 Festa won't actually attack, he'll just continue to drone up. 
do you see that he's taking that third though, that pocket yeah. third? I like it. I think it's a really nice and because it's it's like a ninja expansion because he's not like oh expansion. where is it? Yeah. I'm not sure I like this. There's no way uh, Why on earth is Max Oh I don't like this. This is a bit of a mistake. The third the links, it's so many links that he could actually just go out there and kill it. Now, there you go. Three more hang, gateways. Hang on a minute. What's going on here? DB5 Festa, there's absolutely no way he could have... Why would he be going this way? There's no way he would be able to see this. To have seen what? The base. The ninja expand. There's physically no way he could have seen this. And the thing is, though, no, think about it. The thing is, though, right? He may not have actually physically been able to see it, but... He knows that he killed off the third, the the normal third for the Zerg, right? And he's got the cannons there to stop it. But then think about it. He's thinking, what would the Zerg player do? And the closest possible third is probably going to be that one. And he maybe he just thought, you know, it's a good time to check. And sometimes sometimes you just get lucky with that sense of, oh, you know, he, I think he might be trying to take a third. You know what I mean? I don't think there is any foul play because he never has before, and I don't think he does. This hatchery, however, will go down. Yeah, see, he kn the Protoss knows that the Zerg wants to expand. That's how he was able to catch this ex this uh, expansion. He just knew that he's going to be wanting to take that third. He w no one wants to go two base versus two base as PvZ, if you're the Zerg. Mm, I'm not sure on that one. Because um, it's just something you wouldn't do. Because you'd have to try and take, you retake the third. Ah, uh, that's why the cannons are still up. That's why he couldn't take the third. Right, no, that's legit, that's fair enough, sorry. Yeah, that's what I said. I said he knew he had the cannons up there, so he knew that there was no third there, and he would have just had the sense to check that other third, and it happens to There is no, there. there's no glow reconstitution, though, going on. There's no roach speed. Uh, the layer's up, but this push from DB5 Fester could be a mistake. Oh, I, I think it's I, the link, hard. Yeah, the links just do a run. No, it was blocked off. Oh, right, imagine the links run in and kill off the Protoss' economy whilst he's out of position. Yeah, I don't know. Look, the proxy pile on this is all going to be stalkers. This is going to be a death ball coming out from the Protoss player. And I'm well, not 100%. Yeah, these roaches, no speed. Creep denial. He's going to pick off his overlord as well. well that's no, the last five Yeah, fine but nothing compared to this. Why? The sentries will force fill the back to stop the links coming back. <laughs> And look Go at this, on, we've got you... Zealots on hold position, back at the base. The damage gonna, oh. is going to be damaged. Look, there he goes. Look at this. Oh, he's trying to counter with the Lings, but it's, it's not very cost efficient against that wall off. And Matt will fall to this. Yeah, this will be the death of Matt, unfortunately. I mean, it's not that, because he's got all these roaches in the middle of the map, not doing anything. He needs to come back, try and do some sort of damage. These are all going to be... No, yeah, there's that, the GG. That was pretty much due to just out, out of place units and... Mm. Matt, Matt knew that um, he, he, he'd made a mistake there, basically. Yeah, well, we will have the next game. Interesting. And um, if we're just looking at some of the scores here, 74 workers created for DV Fester to 57 for Matt. A similar resource collection rate. Mm. Uh, very, very interesting. Very good. Okay, and I uh, will be just getting this next game up. So, any thoughts on that game? Or? Um, Matt's made the mistake. He went over. He he overreacted with links. Yeah, he did kind of go a little crazy there. But hey, in the heat of the moment, it's often hard to. Well, no, because he only saw the um fr the two, the three zealots pushing. He should he six links, and that spine would have been more than enough. And he didn't um. The upgrades. There was no upgrades. Whereas uh, F-Tech, yeah. uh, the, he he was on um, one one. So, right, we're uh, gonna have uh, 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 eh? a best of three, and he's ah oh, WC Daybreak. Not a bad map. Good Proxy map for Zerg. DB Five Festa says he's ready. Uh, are we waiting for his opponent? Right, he said he's ready, let's start the game, here we... Oh, I forgot to get Matt in again, oh my freaking... Whoops. Oh, we're gonna have to do another remake. Oh, Jamie, what are you doing? It's like, <laughs> it's like he doesn't invite...